Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 5 of Loki. It's hard to keep track at this point. Um, episode 5 of Loki. I'm really, really excited. Um, last week was so many emotions. It was terrifying. It was wonderful. It was... Uh, there was there was too many emotions for me to even, like, process. Um, I... Obviously, we saw an end credit scene where Loki wakes up and he finds Alligator Loki, who is the, you know, he's, he's the cutest boy, um, and the other Lokis, and hopefully we get to see a bunch more variants today, um, and hopefully we get to find out what happened to Mobius, because I'm upset, I miss him, and all I want is for him and Loki to go jet skiing together. That's all I want. That's all I want. And then for B-15... And Sylvie to be lying on the beach together, watching them on their jet skis, just chilling with their little cocktails. Like, oh, I want this doll. Anyway, um, let's get into <laughs> let's get into the episode. Is Sylvie gonna come out of the elevator, dragging that bitch by the hair? I mean, probably not, but that'll be nice to see. <laughs> I don't even remember her name at this point. What is that? It's like a smoke world serpent? I can help you if you trust me. I wouldn't trust you with with my drink, honestly. Plus an alligator, which I'm heartbroken to report. I didn't even find all that strange. And now we're <laughs> God knows what, and God knows where. What I need to be doing is trying to find a way back to the TVA. Oh, oh. Stop wailing or you signal a liar. He's overly sensitive like the rest. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. You're telling me that thing's a Loki too. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you tell from the horns? Okay. Fine. Willing to accept that. Why are there so many of you? Because Loki survived. That's just what we do. Loki. Great. How do we escape? We don't. <laughs> All of us were arrested by the TVA and pruned just like you. And just like if you think an alligator is strange, the then sorry to tell you, Loki. Oh, but one thing that could easily right. What was your Nexus event, Your Majesty? We killed Thor. Woo! Killed Thor. Why is the helicopter called Thanos? Hang on. <laughs> what? Oh god, is this like a Loki bunker? Was that it? Was that a mini Thor? That's adorable. A mini Thor in a jar. What the fuck? Honey, I shrunk the Thor. Beginning of time. Founding of the TVA. God, the way she sits. Wait. Oh, I'm so gay. <laughs> what about the end of time? Fair. Why is she suddenly helping, though? I know she didn't want to die, but, like, why is she... I don't get her purpose. I don't get her reasoning. And I guess my need for you has passed together. See, if she hadn't been an asshole originally, I would have been like, hell yeah, this is badass, but... These minutes, where are the fires on this time crack? Hold up! Hold the fuck up! <laughs> Sylvie! <laughs> Damn it. And she's dead too. Oh, what? Well, I vanquished Captain America and Iron Man. What? <laughs> I claim my father. <laughs> Loki's face is like, huh? I'll say liar. I want to know what alligator Loki did. Nexus event wasn't eating the wrong neighbor's cat. Oh, <laughs> eating the neighbor's cat. <laughs> oh. Hello. Which one of us are you? Double Tom Hiddleston. Let's go. Hello. I hope she's landed on the same in the same place, right? Well, I assume she, obviously she would. Who is driving the car? Mobius? Is that Mobius? <gasps> you. It is. Shut the door. We still got a little bit of a situation yes, here. Yes, Mobius. You should be careful, 
just jumping into a stranger's car like that. I mean, I'd rather get in the car than get gobbled up by the black smoke. I see it. I see it. <sighs> President Loki is hot. <laughs> About that. His voice. <laughs> what the fuck? What to expect? That was not a bargain. I gave you our location in exchange for shelter and. How about this one? My army, my squad. <laughs> my beef-witted, half-faced scrubs. We had a scruffy-looking nerf herder. <laughs> Why the hell is there an alligator in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh! I thought he was gonna go for somewhere else there. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Animal. I'm really scared that one of the main characters is gonna sacrifice themselves for like to Elias for them, and I'm scared. It's gonna be either him, her, or Loki. I mean it won't be Loki, but I feel like it's gonna be either one of these two, and I'm gonna be sad. Now they're slowing down. What are they doing? Yay! 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 He's gonna realize it. <gasps> Sylvie. <gasps> Yay! What happened? You okay? Mobius. Oh, he's so happy. He's got his friends you... back. Oh no! Who's she talking to? Also, where is B fifteen? I miss her. There she is! You're one. She needs it. Damn, that's a hell of a line. She needs it. Oh my god. If you hurt a hair on her head, I swear to god. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Oh god, there's the tension between them. It's so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it comes around for you if you like. Or you could share. <laughs> what is friends? Oh. I don't have. I just want them to hug. Oh, wholesome. Sharing a blanket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Together? Together. Yeah! I really hope she survives this. I swear to God, I'm gonna be so upset if she doesn't. Ugh. Well, see you later, Loki. <laughs> I don't know how to react to Loki being nice to a friend. <laughs> Loki, what? Oh, my hair! That's like freaking Lucifer's sword. He's helping? Oh, let's go! Holy shit! He's badass. 
as hell. Oh my god. That was a great distraction, friend. Oh my god. Oh, please don't, no, please don't eat him. Please don't eat him. No. in the episode there you motherfuckers ah! good that was a wild ride i i don't even know what to think after that so much happened so much loki magic like we haven't seen like L loki like uh, i feel like i feel like we've had a lack of this <laughs> like like there was so much magic going on there was so much Oh, like, okay, I just want to start off by saying old Loki is an absolute fucking badass. Like, for the moment I saw him, I was like, okay, he, he is definitely like a like a golden age. Like, he, he kind of runs me like a golden age kind of thing. And it's like, he's going to be badass. And it turns out he was. When I saw him looking back, I was like, he's going to do something. Like, there's no way he's just going to walk away. And then man's just fucking... Man's is wild. Like, that man deserved a purpose. Like, he's a hero. He's a hero in our hearts forever. I love him. Um, and all the other Lokis are really cool. President Loki, oh, what they did with his voice. Alligator Loki. Shout out to best boy. Um, and uh, yeah, and Sylvie. I can't believe what Sylvie did. Like, she just straight up fucking pruned herself. Like, she was like, bitch, I'm out. And just, eh. Oh. <sighs> She didn't even know where she was going to go. She just went in hopes. And then she found her, her new bestie with her other new bestie. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like Loki, Sylvia, and Mobius are that meme where it's like Loki and Mobius are like holding hands. And then Mobius is looking back at Sylvie. It's like, you're my favorite. <laughs> I love their dynamics so much. I just want the three of them and B15 because B15 deserves love as well. I want all four of them to just be besties. I I love them. But that was a crazy episode. This is by far, I feel like, my most favorite thing in all of Marvel. Like, don't get me wrong. Guardians of the Galaxy is forever, like, my favorite movies. Like, nothing will ever... No movie, I don't think, will ever top Guardians of the Galaxy. But this... That episode alone was incredible. Like the oh, I everything about it was just beautiful. Like the the CGI, the scenes, the the colors, the acting, everything just was perfect. And I'm still shocked by. It. I need to rewatch that another five times today because that was just incredible. Um, the relationship between uh, Loki and Sylvie, I a lot of people. It's caused a lot of discourse on social media, of course. People are like, oh, but it's incest. Oh, but it's gross. It's not incest. They're not brother and sister. They are the same person from different timelines. It's not anything freaky or creepy. It's it's Loki. If you guys know Loki's Norse mythology history, you'll know what kind of weird... Like, the world serpent is his son. He gave birth to a horse, and you think that him liking a female version of himself, the narcissist... A pretty version of himself, mind you. Like, if you had another version of yourself from a different timeline, different universe, all that kind of stuff, and it looked like that, would you be able to resist? Because I wouldn't. I would be straight in there um, with either of those two, honestly. Um, so, like, I am I'm honestly here for it. I think that this is what they need. They've both been alone. They've never had anyone. And I think this is what they need for each other, is to have someone there that they trust to support that thinks the same way that they do and i just i just love them so much i really do but i'm still scared i'm still scared that she is gonna i i i'm just scared that she's not gonna make it i don't want to jinx anything i don't want to destroy my hopes 
but I don't also want to get my hopes up that they're going to live happily ever after because obviously, you know, we know what happens in the future. Um, ugh, oh god, I don't... I can't process my emotions right now. Um, but I did have, so I did have a kind of theory. Um, I don't know if this is like, th this doesn't end to do with Loki himself. Um, but my kind of theory was anyone that gets pruned, like anyone that's like a variant or whatever, like anyone that gets pruned goes to this place. So what if this was their way to introduce mutants? So obviously, spoilers for WandaVision, if you haven't seen WandaVision. If you haven't, I'd be very surprised that you're watching Loki and haven't seen WandaVision. But obviously, um, y your boy Peter um turned out to not be uh to not be quicksilver he turned out to be peter boner um so what if he is a variant of quicksilver so we have three versions we have peter from one division we have quicksilver uh the aaron taylor johnson version the mcu version and we have the x-men version so what if all three of those are variants and obviously all three of them have different stories, so Peter is, you know, just a, a random kid that's just, you know, controlled by all that kind of stuff. You've got MCU Quicksilver, who is um, Pietro, and he obviously, we know his backstory, we know that obviously Wanda, um, we know Wanda's a sister, we know about his parents. But what if MC, or not MCU, what if X-Men Quicksilver then somehow in some way gets pruned or they find a way to find variants? And he comes in, and he's all like, oh yeah, you know, in my timeline, Magneto's my dad. Who's Magneto, you say? Oh, let's introduce this new character as well, and let's introduce his bestie, uh, you know, Charles Xavier. And you get where, you, you get where I'm coming with this? And Wolverine, uh, Hugh Jackman has been teasing fans. I don't want to believe any of it, but he's been teasing fans that Wolverine's going to make an appearance. Uh, I don't know what to believe at this point, but he did post stuff on his Instagram story. You can Google it and find out more about it. Um, but I would like to, in hopes that, that, that Quicksilver is a variant of Quicksilver. Like, there's Quicksilver variants. There's, like, you know, obviously we know Mobius is a variant. We know that, um, you know, everyone in the TVA is a variant. So, like... I know this is as dumb as like the theories from WandaVision where everyone was like, oh, you know, they they did this, they did that, and they pulled uh, Quicksilver from the you know the other place, and then they were like, oh, but it's Mephisto and all this kind of stuff. But I genuinely think the variant thing could could genuinely be a really good theory because my theories were all kind of all over the place from WandaVision, but from this, I think it it's a good enough theory, I think. Um, but I don't want to get too much into theories because theories can ruin people's ideas. People can, they can ruin people's hopes. Like, I never get my hopes up with theories. That's more just a kind of me being me and just overanalyzing stuff. But I never think too much into it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, I, I would very much like it to happen. Um, but yeah, this episode was once again wild. I'm sad that we only have one more episode. I hope it's slightly longer. I can't imagine it will be, but I, I'm really nervous. I want next week to come already, but I also don't want it to come because then once it's done, it's done. And I think we're meant to get season two, but I don't want to, again, hold up, hold out my hopes for that. Um, but a season two would be epic. It would be great. Um, maybe season two will be the adventures of Loki and Mobius. Where they're just jump in between, you know, the end of the world, the, the apocalypses, and just enjoying their life, you know, on jet skis. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know who your favorite variant is. Which out of this episode was your favorite Loki variant? Mine, I mean, it still is, you know, our Loki. But if I had to choose one that wasn't Loki or Sylvie... I'd probably still have to choose Alligator Loki, honestly, because he's adorable. But I do like old Loki, and I do like President Loki. But I feel like that's a cop-out, me saying President Loki, because it just looks like Tom Hiddleston. So I feel like that I'm just being biased. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I, like, I, I wish we got to see more of them. Like, we already got to see them fight. Like, we didn't really get to explore their personalities fully. Uh, but we got to see them, so that was cool. Um, but I definitely think Alligator and old Loki were regret um 
so yeah like i said thank you guys for watching uh if you haven't already make sure you uh subscribe and if you want to drop a like on the video that'd be great too um if you subscribe you'll get more uh marvel content hopefully in the future uh this is my first marvel react so hopefully i can do more in the future and then obviously star wars is my main uh is my main focus so if you want more star wars stuff then subscribe and i will see you guys next week for the finale i'm not prepared i'm not ready <laughs>